There are many aspects to consider when trying to finance your project. You really need to think about what sort of fundraising suits your project best and how much equity you're willing to give up in order to secure that funding. Generally, you don't want to sell more than 20% of your company because you want to have enough skin in the game going forward. And that will be a problem for the later stage investors. Here are some of the main ways people are using to raise funds these days. Angel investors. Angel investors are usually high net worth individuals who have built and sold a business before. They are now equipped with a lot of time and money to help the next wave of founders to get to their next level. Angel investors like to work in groups and they normally write $25,000 to $100,000 check. So you may have to talk to a few of them to fill your whole financing round. Accelerator programs. Typically, accelerator programs run for a limited duration, something less than six months, and you're given a small amount of money, something like fifty dollars to $100,000 in exchange for up to about 10% of your company. And during the program, you're surrounded by mentors and given access to all these networks and advice to help accelerate the growth of your company and also help you raise your first institutional round of capital. Strategic investors. Strategic investor is usually a bigger company operating in your industry. They normally get involved because you will help one of their business units. You need to juggle the pros and cons when working with a strategic investor because you may get a lot of sales from the distribution deals, but you may also limit your future growth because there may be exclusivities that comes with the deal terms. Venture capital. So the thing to understand about venture capitalists is they're professional money managers. They get paid to produce outsized returns. So that means that they're looking for companies that can grow to $100 million in revenue or more within five to seven years time. Crowdfunding. Crowdfunding platform is a great way to get marketing exposure, but it's generally not enough to close your whole round. You can list your project on the platform for a fee. It's best to direct smaller investors to the crowdfunding platform. That reduces the number of shareholders on your registry and also the paperwork. Because when you get to 20 to 50 investors, you are required to do more paperwork by law. Government grants. It takes a lot of time and energy to get the process right, and that is a big distraction from building your own company. I highly recommend you to engage a professional grant writer because you do need professional help. So it makes sense to pay someone a success fee to get the grant process going. Sales. To pre-sell your product, if you get enough interest, you don't actually have to raise funding and you can retain full ownership of your company. This is fantastic because it's really hard to sell, especially when you have nothing to give in return and you have to get over that barrier at some point. And if you do, you've demonstrated that you have a customer who has a real problem, that they're willing to pay money for it, you know how much they're willing to pay for it, and you'll get a sense from that of how big the market and the opportunity is. And this is all information that you'll need to know later on when you are raising a round for from investors. Successfully closing a funding round is actually only the first step to a new journey. Next up is iteration and you should get people that could support you around you. Don't forget to join in the conversation and let us know your thoughts and what you're working on. We'd love your feedback.